Here's your NBC 26 News update. I'm Nina Sperano. In new developments tonight, a Green Bay woman has been sentenced to 15 years in prison for the death of her five-year-old son. And just a warning, the details of this case may be disturbing. Sigal Hussein was convicted of neglecting her son until he died and then hiding his body in the trunk of her car for months. Investigators found the young boy's body in a duffel bag in the trunk of Hussein's car back in March of 2020. Today, she was sentenced for multiple charges, including child neglect resulting in death, hiding a child's corpse, and neglect. In other news, the Winnebago County Sheriff's Office has identified the remains of a man that was found back in 2015. The man has been identified as Roland Klung of Oshkosh. Investigators say the identification was made possible through DNA technology. Time now for a check on your forecast. We send it over to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Hey, Cam, still snowing out there? Nina, we're still looking at some light snow and flurries across the area. Slippery roads can be expected throughout the night into tomorrow morning. And then lots of sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will get up into the mid-20s. Warmer than today, but still cold. We'll get more snow on Thursday. Right now, it looks like about one to three inches across most of northeast Wisconsin. A little bit of a break Thursday night and Friday morning, and then potentially even a bigger snowfall Friday night into Saturday. This will be the first Colorado low of the system. Big storm pulling out of the Rockies, tapping into Gulf of Mexico moisture, throwing it north. Still too early to talk about how much and exactly where, but it bears watching. After that, some warmer weather as we head into next week with temperatures rebounding back up into the 30s. Have a great night, everybody.